Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb, and today, obviously, you know I have a book review on The Fortunes of Indigo Sky by Deb Coletti. And this is a no spoilers review. And in case you haven't watched my videos or you just need a refresher, I rate my books in five different categories plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall, in terms of reading again very soon. 5 out of 5, not so soon, 1 out of 5, and I have my agenda here for scoring purposes, so if I look down or over, I'm looking at that. So, basically I'm going to give you a synopsis, I'm going to be looking at the back, just to make sure I don't spoil anything. So basically, um, the main character is Indigo Sky, and she's 18 years old, and she loves her job, she's a waitress at a cozy little diner, and she also has her boyfriend Trevor, who's a refrigerator delivery guy, and her home life's a little crazy, but there's a lot of love in it. And one day, a mysterious guy leaves her $2.5 million tip um, at the restaurant, and her life changes. Um, and at first, like, it says, at first it's amazing, because she has all this stuff. Um, and she, it says, Indigo laughs off the warnings that money changes people because she knows it won't happen to her. Until the day she looks around and realizes everything important is slipping away, and no amount of money can buy it all back. So, obviously we're going to learn a lot of messages in here, um, a lot of things we kind of realize and learn and stuff, which I really like, and this really reminded me of the movie with Nicholas Page, I think It Could Happen to You, is, it is called, a subscriber wrote it down, I, I mentioned it um, when I hauled this book, I think, and a subscriber wrote the movie down, I just, it's, I'm blanking right now what the name is, but it kind of reminds me of that movie, if you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, so we're, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where did I put my scoring sheet? Okay, so plot, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. It is a light summer read. I would call it like a chick lit kind of bookish. Um, boys could obviously read it, but that's kind of what I'm classifying it as. It's a light fluffy read, I'd say. Um, I, I really liked what happened. I really liked how Indigo was down to earth. And though, and she did get, like, everybody gets caught up in temptation. And her, what she went through was pretty realistic. The only part I did not like was what happened in the middle with her friend and her and the excursion. Um, I didn't really like that. But, yeah, I'm not going to go into more because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. I just didn't like that part at all. I wish it would be cut out of the book. I, I get that it was a big eye open. Like, I get that certain things. When she had the big eye opener, yeah. But I really did like most things that she went through. It was just a certain sections. Um, characters, I give a 5 out of 5. I really enjoy the characters. Um, Deb Clay wrote some really good characters. They all have distinct and different personalities. I really love, um, like, just like the when you're reading a book, like the diner or the shop feel where everybody knows each other. They know the regulars come in. Um, it kind of, like, with the diner aspect, it kind of reminded me of the movie Waitress with Carrie Russell in it. Um, with the diner aspect with Joe, if you know what I'm talking about. And, yeah. I, I really loved the characters. They were all very different and different personalities. And I really liked how Indigo interacted with them. And I thought Indigo was a really, um, strong protagonist. Yeah. Cover, I give a 3 out of 5. The cover, I really like the lightness and simplicity. And I like the spine. Usually I don't like spines with color blocks like this, but I actually enjoy it. But the only thing I don't get is why she's daisies in between her toes. I honestly, I thought I'd be explained in the book, but I honestly don't understand. If you guys have read this and know, please comment below because I'd be really interested in knowing. But I really like how the picture's out of focus because it kind of makes me think, I, I dig too deep, I think sometimes in this, but it kind of makes me think like, it comes out of focus because sometimes we all become out of focus and we're not all clear and we're not all there. That's what it kind of symbolizes for me at least. That's why. Um, suspense, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. I really like the suspense of this novel. It was really, um, it was fast paced in certain parts. Again, the part that I talked about earlier in the middle really um, made it slow down and I didn't want to read it that part. But obviously the book Tubafon pushed me to read it which was good because it would probably would have taken me a day or so to get over that section. Overall, I give it a 2 out of 5. I would read it probably in a few months. I wouldn't read it right away because it's a pretty simplistic novel in the way that there's not too many complex, like, turns. In it. But I'd say it's a pretty good book. Like, if you are on summer vacation or just have some time off and you want a nice, fun read that doesn't require too much heavy thinking, definitely check this out. There's a lot of good lessons to be learned from this book. Um, so yeah. Like, it was hard for me... To, that part that I talked about, um, it was hard for me to kind of get over that to really put the book up higher, but it was a pretty good book all in all. 
it wasn't obviously one of my top favorites but it was really well written and um, I really liked the lessons in it and the main character and yeah it was a pretty good read and um, I'm interested in checking out Deb Cluddy's other works so if you guys have read a Deb Cluddy book that you think is really good definitely comment below because I am going to the bookstore this weekend and maybe I might pick one up I'm not sure anyway thanks guys for watching and also I'll be filming more videos so I'll be in the same ensemble for a few more um, just thought I mentioned that um, and yes, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.